So, on the following uh, slides, it's time for you to have a go at naming these compounds. Um, and you can download this worksheet um, from the Google Drive uh, by following this link. And that worksheet will contain uh, the answers as well, which I'm going to go through in a minute. So here we have uh, the second page. So again, structural formula have been given uh, for various organic molecules um, for you to uh, name them. And again here, another six for you to, to have a go on, getting slightly more complicated as we go through. And the next page, uh, now I've given you some names as well uh, for you to have a go at actually drawing the molecules out from those names. And the final page here, uh, again, you've got uh, three more uh, molecules to draw out. So let's go through the answers then. So for page one, uh, we're going to start off uh, with our alkane here, uh, but we do have a branch coming off of that. Uh, so um, our longest chain is going to be uh, five carbons, so it's going to be pentane. Um, and we have got two methyl groups coming off this second carbon in the chain, so 2,2-dimethylpentane. Uh, for the next one along, uh, which is going to be this one here, it's going to be an alkene. And in my alkene, I've got three carbons, so it's going to be propene. And I've got a methyl group coming off the second one, uh, so it's going to be methylpropene. Uh, you may have wanted to call that 2-methylpropene, uh, uh, but of course, uh, you don't need that number because that methyl group has to be coming off the second carbon. Uh, otherwise, it would become butene. So we're introducing uh, functional groups now, and we've got a chloro uh, group in uh, the next example uh, down here. So um, again, you need to identify your longest chain and the number uh, the, of, uh, on the carbon that the chlorine is coming off. And you will find that your longest carbon chain is going to be four carbons. Uh, those four carbons are going to be one, two, uh, three, and four there. So we have a chloro group coming off carbon number two and a methyl group coming off carbon number three to give us two chloro, three methyl butane. And our final molecule for this page is uh, an alcohol. So again, we'll look at the, the longest carbon chain that we have um, and it's going to be a one, a two, a three, a four. So again, it's a but butan um, and it's going to be butan 2O because the OH is coming off uh, that second carbon. And you also have a methyl group uh, on that second carbon as well. Uh, and therefore, your name will be 2-methyl-butan-2-O. So, on to page two then. Um, so, first one, uh, up on the top left corner, uh, nice and easy, it's an aldehyde, two carbons. So, that one is going to be ethanol. Uh, the next one along, uh, next to it, uh, is going to be a ketone, uh, five carbons, and the ketone group is on the third carbon, so that is going to be pentan 3 -O. Uh We have the next one coming off there um, is going to be uh, propanoic acid. Uh, this one is slightly more complicated. We've got both an aldehyde group and we have a uh, al uh, uh, alcohol group. Um, so aldehyde takes uh, precedence. So that's carbon number one, two, three, four, like so. Um, so we've got four carbons, so it's going to be butanol. But on carbon number three, I've got a hydroxy group coming um, off. So it's going to be three hydroxy butanol. So as we move down to the bottom of the page then, uh, we have got a, a dibromo compound there. Um, and again, let's look at how many carbons I have. I have one, two, three, four carbons um, in that chain. Um, so it's going to be a butane. Uh, it's dibromo, so it's going to be two, three, dibromo butane. And our final one there, he's got all sorts going on, hasn't he? So um, let's first of all look at my longest carbon chain. Uh, so I've got carbon number one, two, uh, three, Four, five, so it's going to be pentane, and coming off carbon number one, I've got a bromo group. Uh, two, I've got a methyl group, and uh, 
three, I've got a chloro group. And so if we put that all together, it becomes one bromo, three chloro, two methyl pentane. I remember we have to put the groups in alphabetical order. All right, so let's continue with this page. Um, and top left, looks like we've got another alcohol there. Uh, so um, if that's uh, carbon number one on the end, uh, carbon number two, carbon number three, and carbon number four, uh, we have got a chain length of four carbons, which means it's going to be a but stem. Uh, coming off carbon number three is an OH group, so it's butan 3 ol And coming off number two is a methyl group, so it's going to be 2-methyl-butan. Uh, three oh. So let's carry on um, and we will uh, do the one next to him. Um, so this looks like it's going to be an aldehyde. Um, carbon length of three there. Uh, we've got one, two, three carbons there. And coming off the second carbon, uh, you have got uh, two methyl groups. So therefore, uh, this one is going to be methyl propanol. Uh, we don't need the two uh, because uh, if it's methylpropanol, uh, it's got to be on the second carbon. Uh, so it looks like we are back to um, a ketone here. Um, we have got uh, one, two, three, four, five carbons. Um, so it's going to be pentan and it's going to be pentan to own. Uh, so we're going to move on then uh, to um, our carboxylic acid here. Um, with the COOH and again you have a methyl group coming off carbon number uh, two there so this is going to be methyl propanoic acid so final couple for this page then uh, we have got a nitrile here so uh, three carbons propan nitrile uh, nice and easy and uh, finally uh, this molecule here it is going to be an amine with the NH2 group there and so that's carbon number one, uh, two, and three. And coming off carbon number two is a methyl group. So this molecule is going to be 2-methylpropanamine. Uh, but again, uh, because that methyl has got to be on the second carbon, we can uh, remove that to just call it methylpropanamine. So moving on to the next page. Uh, on our top left there, uh, we have got um, three carbon chain and it's an amide now with the CONH2. So our name is going to be quite straightforward and it's going to be a propan amide. Okay, so we'll carry on uh, with this molecule here. This is, of course, an acyl chloride and it's four carbon chain length. So it's going to be based on but as the stem um, and therefore it's going to be butan oil chloride. So now it's time to draw the compound from the name. So our first one is 4-ethylhex-2-ene. Uh, so this is going to be an alkene there. Uh, so, so hex means you've got six carbons. Uh, so that is shown um, here. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six carbon chain there. Um, on the second carbon, you have got your carbon-carbon double bond. And on your fourth carbon, you have got your ethyl group. So our next one is 4-hydroxybutuanine. So we've got two functional groups here. We've got an alkene and we have got a alcohol group. Uh, so it's going to be a four carbon chain. Uh, so let's, uh, let's have a look at that. Um, and there he is. So we've got our four carbons um, like so. Um, and that's going to be carbon number one, two, three, four there. And on carbon number four is your hydroxy group there. And on carbon number one is your um, alkene. Uh, for the next one, again, we've got two functional groups. We've got a chloro um, and a aldehyde there. So halogenoalkane um, and a aldehyde. Uh, so again, four carbons. Uh, carbon number one is where your aldehyde is going to be. Um, and so that's number one, two, three, four there. And as you can see, your carb uh, chlorine is on carbon number three. And final for this page is a uh, 2-bromobutanoic acid. So first of all, you draw a butanoic acid. And carbon number 1 is always where the carboxylic acid is. Uh, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4. And on carbon number 2 is where your bromine atom is. So we're down to the final three now. Uh, this first one, top left, is 3-methyl-butanone. 
Um, so it's going to be a ketone with a methyl group coming off carbon number three. So the um, ketone group has got to be on carbon number two. Uh, so let's have a look. Um, and there you go. You have got your um, uh, four carbon chain there. Um, that's carbon number one, two, three and four with your methyl group coming off carbon number three. Uh, three hydroxy butanoic acid now, uh, very similar. So let's draw butanoic acid um, uh, like so. That's carbon number one. And then we're going to have uh, where the uh, carboxylic acid is. That's two, that's three, and that's four. And on carbon number three is where your alcohol group is. And uh, last but not least, we've got two chloro, three hydroxy pentanoic acid. So we draw pentanoic acid. Um, pentanoic acid is five carbons. Uh, so that's one uh, uh, where the um, uh, carboxylic acid is, two, three, four, and five. And as the name says, on carbon number two is where we're going to put uh, the uh, chlorine atom. And carbon number three is where the alcohol group goes. So I hope you feel you get into grips with naming um, organic molecules now. Um, obviously, uh, practice makes perfect and you'll have plenty of practice as we go through uh, the next few modules in organic chemistry.